Want your Laravel chatbot to feel exactly like ChatGPT? Let's build real-time streaming responses in Laravel using Livewire and Prism PHP step by step. So here we have a fresh installed Laravel application. Let's create some V to see the version 12.3.0. First thing we need to do is composer require Prism PHP. Let's bring this in. Next, we need to publish the vendor files for Prism configuration. So vendor publish, then tag Prism config. We do that and we get prism.php file. Let's open that up. In our case, we are going to use OpenAI. So let's get into that env file and add OpenAI API key in the organization. So let's copy this over. Open API, open AI key, open AI configuration. I'm going to fill this in. You don't need to see this. And now that I have this in, let's continue. So we're going to use Livewire. Let's create our first component, Livewire make chat component. And let's open up our component. So what we would like to have in this case. First thing we're going to use is a function called sent because this will indicate that we would like to communicate and send the request to the backend from our chatbot. So the prompt in this case will be the input that we get from our user. Let's create this. So public input. Then we would also like to have an array of messages that we're going to store in order to communicate with OpenAI. The streamed response, that's going to be an empty string. And an indication that our AI is typing. So we'll name this is typing. We keep this to false as a default. So now let's go ahead and add the first messages here. The user will be you and the text is going to be whatever it is in the prompt. So we can now reset our input because we don't want it to have any data anymore. And then we should also indicate that our AI would start typing. Now let's dispatch an event telling our browser that we need to scroll to bottom. And now for me to make this work, I need to dispatch another event, which will indicate that the streaming should start, right? And I call that um, get AI response, and I was passing up the prompt that the user gave us. So let's go ahead and create a new functional called get AI response. And let's indicate that we need this to trigger on get AI response. Let's import that. So whenever we dispatch the get AI response passing the prompt, this function will get called because we get the dispatched event here. We can have the prompt. And now what should we do in this case? Um, the first thing we would like to have is store the stream from Prism. So let's use Prism, import that text using OpenAI. And specifically, we're going to use GPT-4 with prompt, the prompt that the user gave us. And last but not least, we need to use the asStream method. 
Next, we will in, we will utilize a concept called chunks by Prism PSP. So we will loop over stream response as chunk. So each chunk essentially will have some kind of data. Let's say that the first chunk is going to be empty. The second chunk is going to be the first word, then two words, the first and the second word, then the next chunk, three words, first, second, and third word, and it goes on. So we would like to store all of these in the streamed response we had earlier. And we are going to keep adding them there until we finalize our our um, our loop in this case so this stream response and we will get the text from the chunk the reason why we need this is in order to have the full stream response added in one property so once we're done with that we can also we will also now use livewire's stream function we will call it response and we will also pass the chunk text here as well. If I could only type. If we go deeper, we'll see that LiveWire uses this trait called handle streaming. It makes it very easy for us to stream to our front end. Just have to indicate where it streams to and pass the content. So we'll use this in this case. Next, we will have our messages as well in order to communicate with OpenAI. The user in this case will be called AI. The text will be the full text we have. So this stream response. And now that we finalize the loop and we have the response, we indicate that there is no more typing by our AI. So it's typing is false. And we will also don't need to have stream response anymore. So let's clean this up for now. Last but not least, we will dispatch an event saying that we should scroll to bottom again. Let's fix that, dispatch, scroll bottom. So our chatbot will go at the bottom, of course. So let's move on. I think we're ready to go to the front end part. So we get the user input, user's input. And then we start with the AI response. We stream the response. We have our stream property. We loop over the chunks. We have our full response here. We In the meantime, we stream that to our blade file we store the ai response the full response in our messages so we keep track of them we indicate that typing is stop for now and we dispatch an event in order for our browser our chatbot scroll to bottom okay so moving on to the blade file now i'm going to copy over some code so we can have CSS and HTML being a bit easier for us. I'm going to explain everything, of course. It's very straightforward. So we will loop over all our messages in this case. If the user in our message is us, we will show the bubble at the right side. It's like an actual chat, right? But if it's not us, then we will have the bubble at the left side. So. So in order for us to see this, we would like to go to dashboard. Let's remove everything from here. And let's import our live wire. How do we call it? Chat component. So chat component. Okay, let's move on to our browser. Let's register user very quickly. Create account. We are in, we don't see the CSS very well in this case. So let's go in our terminal, npm run dev, refresh, hey, okay, and we have the chatbot ready. 
It's very, very basic, of course, just to showcase what we do here. So we have a basic input that the user will ask something, a button, in order to send a response. So let's try to ask something. What is the weather like today in Athens, Greece? Hey, okay. and you can see that we got a response string back to us. So on the right side, we have the user input. On the left side, we have the AI's input. Let's go back to our Blade file and continue the explanation about what we have here. So as we already said, we have the array of messages. We loop over them. This is mostly about the UI side. Here, we check if we indicate that the AI is typing. We use wire string. We call this response. As you remember, we have this here. So we stream to response. We pass the chunk of text. And here we have a basic input for the user, which is going to use wire model defer. We store this in the input property. We have a button with type submit and the form that submits to the function called send. So we call the function send and everything goes smoothly. And there you have it, a Laravel AI chatbot using Laravel Wire and Prism PHP in order to stream back the responses to us. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Laravel focused content in the future. See you in the next one.